Docker container logs are a crucial tool for monitoring and troubleshooting applications running in Docker containers. They provide detailed information about the behavior of the application, including any errors or warnings that occur during runtime. By examining container logs, developers and system administrators can quickly diagnose and resolve issues such as performance problems or application crashes. I will use the static site example. You can get this from the Docker curriculum repo using the run command shown here. If you want to code along with me, you will need to get the port for your static site using the docker port command and then specifying the static site container. Open a browser and navigate to your local host and port number. I like to use VS Code to work with my Docker containers, and if you install the extension, you can manage your containers, images, registries, networks, volumes, and contexts. To view the logs for a container, right-click on the container name in the container browser and select View Logs. If you look at the terminal window, you can see the Docker Logs command that was executed. You could alternatively execute this command in a Git Bash or PowerShell terminal. The tail option sets the number of lines to show from the end of the logs. If you set the tail option to all, then all lines will be shown. The F option means that it will follow log output and continue streaming the new output from the containers STD out and STD error. The ID at the end is the container ID. If you refresh the static site web page, your log should update since we used the follow option. The details option will show extra details provided to logs, which is useful if you're troubleshooting cryptic errors. You can use the since option to show logs since the specified timestamp. You can either pass in a UTC date time as shown here, or you could also use the relative format specifying minutes. Similarly, you can use the same time formats with the until option to show logs before a timestamp. And the timestamps option will show timestamps in the log output. You can also view container logs in Docker Desktop. Click to expand any running container and you should see the same logs that we saw using the VS Code extension. And if we refresh the static site again, we can verify that the log file is updated. If you're struggling with Docker errors, check out my Pluralsight course, Tactics and Tools for Troubleshooting Docker. This course provides developers with the skills they need to troubleshoot and fix the most common Docker errors. By the end of this course, you will have the skills that you need to reduce the time it takes you to assess and fix issues. Visit hofstech.com slash troubleshooting docker to get started with a free trial today. What questions do you have about Docker? Let me know in the comments and please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.